Okay, this is Call Do Clem here. Even though I don't really do gaming videos very much, today I just want to share a little something with you regarding the game Portal 2 and the community uploaded maps. Just lately, there seems to be a bug in the game where the quick play will not work, and I will show you that bug so you know what I'm talking about. And I'll show you a little way around that. Or at least what I do. A long time ago, if I just wanted to play other people's maps, I could go into the quick play here, and, you know, within about five seconds or so, it would pick a random map from the workshop and, you know, I'd be playing it. But just lately, this doesn't seem to work anymore. But now, we get this. Now, if I left this game for about 30 minutes or so, and tried this again, usually it would work, and I would be playing maps from the community, you know, from the uploaded community maps, but now, doesn't matter how long I leave the game for, I always get this. Now, there's not much I can do about that, but there is another little issue I want to show you that I do have a workaround for. So, as you can see in my quick playlist here, we've got quite a few, we've got quite a few maps. So, let's add a few more maps. Let's go into the workshop and just add a few more maps into here. Um, let's see, try to find ones I haven't played, okay. Let's just select these first. Three. I've already played that one, so I'll we'll not add that one. So let's just... Let's just add those four there. Okay. So, we should have those four maps added to the list. So, let's see if they're there. And as you can see, they are not there. Even if I go back and have a look at the list again, You can see they have not appeared. Now, if we go out of Portal 2, so let's just quit. Okay, and now we go back in. Get that. And we look at the community test chambers now. You will now see that those four maps that I just subscribed to are now there. But let's show you the way I do this, which should save you a whole lot of trouble. Or at least it saves me a lot of trouble. So, let's just quit out of Portal 2 for now. And we'll just, we'll come back in in just a couple of minutes. So, let's go out there. Now what I do is, I go into Steam, and I can find it. And what I do is I go into the Portal 2 workshop from within Steam itself. So, let's go browse the workshop. And we want single player maps. Um, let's see. Okay, let's add this, 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 and this. Close that and go back into Portal 2. Now let's go to the community test chambers. Alright, single player chambers. Let's scroll down. 
and there they are. So now I can go into, say, uh, one of these levels and play it, and, you know. So that's just a little workaround, or, I don't know if you can call it a little workaround, but that's, uh, you know, what I do to try to speed things up a little bit in the way of getting community upload and that's, that looks interesting. Never seen one of those before. Anyway, I'm just going to play a few maps and then I'm going to be back because I want to address another little issue that I do need a solution for. And now on to that little issue that I want to discuss. Now, I have played a lot of community maps, and I mean thousands of them. A lot of which were complete garbage. Okay, that map I played in the video was one of the good maps, but the thing is, I have played so many maps that if you look at the history, can you see how messed up this is now? I mean, just look at that, it's completely screwed up because I've played so many maps. And I'm a little bit worried about this because I think there's going to be a point when I've played so many maps that the game is just going to stop working altogether. Now, if this would only remember, say, the past hundred maps you played, I think that would be a much better way of doing things. And we wouldn't have a completely messed up history list like we've got here. So that's just a little idea I'm throwing out. I doubt that any developers are actually watching this video, but, you know, instead of remembering every single map that I've played, if it would just remember, say, the past hundred maps or so, I think that would stop this problem. Yeah, I'm just throwing that idea out there. So, it's cool dude Clem, and until next time, goodbye.